Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Swag Kings here. I'm coming at y'all with another video. Alright, so before I move on, I just want to let you guys know today is my birthday or whatever. So yeah, today is the big B day for me. So, or whatever. Just letting you guys know what's going on. <laughs> and so I'm going to be doing a, 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 re a review of Shinji Kuro version of the Hulk. Which I'm actually like, wow, he actually did a Marvel character. Even though I was kind of like, you know, hoping one of these days he would do a Marvel character. But the only reason why he's like, he done the Marvel ca character, which is the Hulk, because of the new Avengers movie Endgame, which I'm planning to go see on Tuesday. But, you know, I'm hearing that, you know, people have been like, you know, emotional and stuff like that. So I don't know what to expect, but I'll find out when I happen to go see the movie on Tuesday. So. Alright, so here we have the Hulk, but um, just also let you guys know, I don't think I'm really going to do an arcade run with him because it's just the Hulk. I like to do arcade runs for characters that we don't ever expect to see, like, enter, like, in the real games or in the Mugen world, stuff like that. So I'm not going to really do an arcade run for the Hulk. I'm just going to do a quick review and stuff like that or whatever, you know. Even though we already know what the Hulk is about because, you know, as much as we've seen him in the old, you know, the old school games and stuff like that, we already know what to expect. So, alright. Alright, so here we have the Hulk by Shinzen Kuro, whatever, so, you know, he's pretty much, you know, the same, you know, which he still has a standing jab, standing medium, standing hard punch, um, standing light kick, standing medium kick, standing hard kick, you know, cause all his crouching attacks, which we all know, all the original attacks from the actual game from when the Hulk was first made, when he started out in, um, Marvel Super Heroes, cause that's when he first started out, so, but alright, so let's see what this Hulk can do versus style, alright, so. I know he pretty much he's not really a like a combo kind of character, so that's pretty much all he can really do. He's not a combo type character. Yeah, so let's see what else. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I know his uh, air combo, which you know the medium punch always knocks the characters down, always. So, but I know do a combo with him is basically something like that, or. Yeah, alright, so, but I noticed this Hulk is not as, like, crazy as the, the, the old, the other version I had before when I was playing against, um, Animal and back in the other live streams when I used to just OD spam the, the, the standing medium punch, which it was kind of overpowered when he was, when Animal had Juggernaut, I was just OD just beast with that standing medium punch, but this Hulk here can't really do that, so I know that would make Animal happy if he happened to see this video. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll still get the, get this Hulk a try against the Juggernaut, no matter what, Animal. Just letting you know, man. <laughs> but even though I don't play this game all that much anymore, but, you know, but still. But anyways, guys, all right. All right, so we did, like, you know, a couple of ground combos. But he does, like I said, he's not really a combo-heavy type character. So, um, okay, let's go over his moves. So basically, we all know he has the, yeah, the Gamma, the Gamma move. Um, yeah, that's the medium one. That's the hard one. Uh, what else he has? Uh, the Gamma Charge, Light Gamma Charge, Medium Gamma Charge, and um, Heavy Gamma Charge. All right, and I know he has the um, the which one? Which other one he had? Like, wait, um, hold on a second. Let's see if I can try to do it. I know he has like the the Down Up Gamma Charge. I forgot how I did it. Wait, uh, it's not coming out now. Oh man, wait, hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I had to do that. I know it's like it's like um Guile's somersault. But I don't know why it's just not coming out. But see, I'm using the keyboard. I'm not actually using my arcade stick or nothing. I'm using the keyboard. So I, but let me see if he can do wait, do this. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I forgot all about that. But I might see a possible infinite with that because I remember in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Hulk had an infinite with the with the gamma charge. He did. I don't know if this version can do it, but let's see. Um. Well, actually, let me do the light version. Yeah, let me let me do the light version. Let me see. Let me see if he has. I'm trying to do it on keyboard. Let me see. Now, actually, no, because um. Zangi kind of comes um comes down a little too quick and um Hulk's um the way Hulk comes down it comes down pretty slow so there's no time for Hulk there's no time to charge the gamma charge to repeat it again so it looked like it could be a possible infinite if um Zangief goes up a little bit more higher and come down yeah or oh, let's see well see that was well, see I did the heavy version of the ground gamma charge that um put Zangief over the Hulk so that's not gonna really work out like that let me try the medium one let's see what the 
Okay. Yeah, he's not gonna have no time, so... So... Yeah, he's not gonna have no time to do anything. So... But yeah, you know, like I said, there's not really much with the Hulk like that. But what would be cool too if Shin, if Shin J. Kuro did this, like, because in Marvel 2, Hulk was able to do this. Like, when you do, um, like a gamma charge, you could be able to do the super after it. If, um, Shin J. Kuro did something like that, that would have been cool too for the Hulk, though. But, you know, I know he, he's pretty much based off, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 style. So that's why he's, um, Hulk is the way he is, which is really understandable. But. You know, I just wanted to bring out a quick review for you guys or whatever. Y'all can be sure to go download the Hulk from Mugen Fighters Guild. Y'all find it there or whatever, you know. So, like I said, it's not really much really to do with him like that. But, oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. The supers. All right. Check out the supers. All right. Let's see. Yeah, which we all know that's still original as always. Okay. Uh, what else he has? Oh yeah, this. And last but not last but not least, yeah, because <laughs> Zangi got up in time, so um, he got up in time, so that's why you know Hulk wasn't able to like hit Zangi from with the with the media. But maybe if I do this, okay, there we go. I also read in the forum that somebody did said that when Hulk hits um the the, the opponent. With the with the gamma crush, and that when he's coming, when Hulk's coming down with the media, the opponent, the, the character gets up quickly. I think I think maybe what um I think maybe what it is is that depending on the version of certain Mugen characters, or certain characters have it where they can actually can recover from the ground faster after getting uh getting hit by by a hard hit, you know. They, you know, a lot of people don't think about it that way because I know when I try to try to gamma crush on certain characters in this game. They was able to get hit while they were still on the ground with the media with the media. So it depends on whatever version of characters that you have that can recover from the gamma crush um faster. Yeah, only certain characters could do that, but certain characters stays on the ground, you know. So just to clear that just to clarify that, because I was reading the forum about it when I when Shinji Kuro uploaded the Hulk to that, and somebody was saying how like, oh yeah, you know, um the characters get up too quick and Hulk can't hit them with the media. That's because depending on the version of the character. So let's 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 I'm gonna show you right now. See how Zangi got up mad quick? See how he got up quickly and didn't get hit with the media? Now let me let me switch to another okay, guy. So I switched from Zangi to Captain America. Now watch watch what happens. Watch. Now now when I hit Captain America with the um with the gamma crush. See he gets hit. That's because Captain America was encoded to, to recover from the ground fast. That's so what I'm saying. It depends on the character. So like in the so like in the other part of the video where Zangi got up quickly. See, because it, depend, it depends on your character, you know. See, that's what people don't gotta gotta think about this kind of stuff, because you know when you have certain versions, they code it differently, you know. Which is another reason why I want to redo this entire game, because you know not every character in this game is on the same same pace as other characters, you know. So, so I'm gonna do this again. See, the characters could get hit with the media depending on the version. See, this version of Captain America is different from Zangief. So, Zangief is coded differently than this Captain America is. Zangief is not coded the same way how Captain America is coded, you know? So, I just wanted to just point that out to you guys. So, but, um, alright. So, yeah, and also to Shinji Kuro if you happen to see this video. So, but alright guys, that's going to be it for now. You know, I just want to do a quick review of the Hulk. Like I said, I'm not going to really do no arcade run because, you know, it's just the Hulk. You know, it's this original Marvel character. Like I was say, it was some a character that was brand new. That was brand new that was made by Shinji Kuro. Gladiator Cloud that's like versus style. I would do it because if it's a character I'm excited for, then I would do it, you know. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, like I said, um, I hope you guys really liked the video. If so, just please leave your comments below or a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And, um... I shall see you guys next time and also too I got something you know some really special things coming on the way for you guys for like for my projects that I got come going on with um, Dark Souls vs Street Fighter and Street Fighter vs Capcom so you know just um stay tuned for that so you know but alright until then guys I'll catch you guys later y'all peace out and have a good day